inspiration for feel good stories. It's all about emotions, really, and exceptional ones makes us feel so much more alive. And we only have to open our eyes to find them. They, these stories, they are everywhere, all around. Uh, people in daily life are struggling quite hard to get a good life and there's obstacles and there's problems and I, I kind of like like that people are so vulnerable and if you just open your eyes and see it um, there's a story a story to tell but to make it a feel-good story uh, one has to add a good intention into the story there has to be a sort of a feel-good mood into in it uh, but um, the trick to do that is to add a bit of pixie dust into it, and that's the feel-good story. A mission. Yeah, sure. Uh, it has kind of grown on me since I started to write this mission. I want people to feel, because I believe that if we feel and engage in people and, and problems and acknowledge our feelings, we become better people, more loving, caring, um, um, generous people, and kinder. I like that. Uh, the story, well, it's all about a little seed that grows into a plant, really. A little seed of uh, an issue that you can't get rid of in your head. Um, and eventually this story becomes a larger story. And, and I get to know the characters that are going to perform the story. Uh, I live with these ideas for quite a while. And eventually I, I write a synopsis and I do a list of chapters that... Uh, Every chapter is a scene and I start writing it and I rewrite it and I rewrite it. And I guess if I had known that it would take two years to write a book, I would probably not have done it. But now I'm here, I've written three books and I kind of love it.